What's up, YouTube family? Welcome back to another episode with Trucking with Pastor T. Today, guys, I'm going to be headed out to a couple of dealerships um, to look at some trucks. I am currently considering purchasing my own uh, 18-wheeler. And uh, the last six to nine months, I've been part-time with my current company. But now I'm looking at going back full-time. However, I, I, I want to go back um, as an owner-operator, or I see independent contractors, they're called with TriMac. Um, I've got some things to figure out, some research to do. I got to get with my uh, branch manager figure out the particulars about the program and how it's ran with uh, TriMac. Um, also, any incentives or anything like that that um, are offered, um, you know, fuel or maintenance or, you know, tags, insurance, any of that stuff. I want to figure all that out. But anyway, today's video is just going to be about me going to go look at some trucks, get some pricing ideas, get... Uh, Year-wise, figure out what's going to be feasible for my budget, uh, day cap, sleepers, you know, so on and so forth. Yeah, well, I've got my little mini-me with me, if you guys hear him. But that's today's video, guys, so stay tuned. Appreciate you rocking with me. And if you made it this far, before we get into the video, go ahead and smack the like button. Drop a comment with what truck you think I should go with. And uh, turn on the post notifications. Consider subscribing, guys. It's free. It costs you nothing to subscribe to the channel and stay updated with everything that's going on. Here on out, going forth, I want to incorporate more trucking videos. So if you guys got any ideas of videos you would like for me to drop about trucks, uh, DOT regulations, driving, uh, truck maintenance, Anything truck related, if you got any ideas, something that you got questions about, something you need me to elaborate on, go ahead and drop it in the comment below. Go ahead and light up that comment section. That way we can have some interaction and we can get some things answered. We can get some things cleared up and we can all grow in this. We're in this together, guys. Just as much as we're in this thing together spiritually, we're in this thing together in the natural too. So let's be a benefit to one another and stay tuned for what we got coming up. Yeah. Yes. All right, guys. So I'm here at Arrow at Converse of I-10. Checking out these trucks. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get into my own truck. They got a couple free liners in this Volvo. This is this is a 2015, and they're all 10 speeds. I got my little one skin right here. She's filming me. So hey, quality isn't good. You can blame her, guys. But anyway. I talked to Rick, the salesman. He's about to go ahead and check these out. D13. Come around, baby. Okay. Come around. Come on, Let Daddy see it so I can go up and hit. Yeah, check this out, man. This thing is not, I believe he told me this right here is a 39. He said this is 39 right here. He said it's 39. They got it cleaned up real good. Cloth seats, 10 speed. I know it's a 10 speed because it doesn't have your additional splitter here that your 13 or your 18 speeds would have. Lots of storage. They got it cleaned real good, man. Double bunk, which is more than what I would need, but it's good to have it in the event that I do need it. Uh, like somebody may have had an inverter or something in there. But this Volvo is nice, man. I'm really liking it. I'm really liking it. Match the carpet in the back. It's a mid-roof. I think all of these trucks that I'm going to look at right now are, are mid-roofs. And you got all your controllers back here that's awesome that's awesome CD player another thing that he, he mentioned to me 
is that uh, Arrow is nationwide. Arrow is that's not right there. Arrow is nationwide, and they're actually uh, owned by Volvo, and so they stand by their their, their trucks really heavily. Freight liner. Two thousand fourteen. Two thousand fourteen freight liner. Cascadia. Guys, tell me what you think about it. Like it's got some surface rust and stuff up there. This unit here looks pretty rough, but I'm sure there's something that can be fixed. And these guys would have to be changed out. Only thing I don't like, I don't like singles. It looks like most of these guys are super singles. Man. I didn't show you guys this Volvo, man, but they've got it cleaned up good. This actually all looks pretty new. Differential, all this stuff looks new, man. To 2015, I didn't ask him how many miles, but man, I may for for what this truck is or what it appears to be, it might be worth paying the the extra money for it. I mean, seriously, yeah, it may be worth paying the extra money, guys. And I don't know if this was just all repainted for sale. I mean, sure it probably was. If you look at all these lines, they're all black, nice and shiny. So this may have been just painted for sale, which leads me to question the real condition of the truck. Anyway, let's check out the inside of this freight liner. I'll be the same. And these freight liners probably came from a from a company. Fast light. And because uh, the back of the ACs, they all look look pretty rough. But man, the inside is it's nice. Again, like I said, he did tell me they're all ten speeds. Man, this is more than enough room for me. I'm six two, so. This is, sheesh, let me tell you, this mid-roof will work good for me. Plenty of storage in there. I got inside. Storage compartments up top. The truck that I drive now is a 10th brief freight line of Cascadia. So this is pretty much the same, except now I would have a mid-roof sleeper. But there wouldn't be a lot of uh, adjusting as far as equipment, functionality, buttons, and so forth. So that's a good thing. That's a good thing. I, I kind of know what I'm doing. kind of know where things are on the engine, so on and so forth. Sure, this is probably... Yeah, pretty much the same, same, same package um, as the one I was just in. They've got a couple other trucks, guys. Check out this Kenworth. It's a Kenworth 2014 also.
got a little graphics on it. Looks pretty good back here. I'm not doing any real inspections on it guys right now. I'm just in the very, very beginning stages of looking. So once I narrow down who I want to go with, what exactly I want, then I'll do a more thorough inspection. And I'll probably have my mechanic friend come out with me. He's a certified diesel mechanic. Probably have him come out with me and uh, just to verify what's what. These Kenworths are nice. We drive these at Trimac also. But man, man at 6'2", there's not very much room in these guys. It's got a nice little sleep area. Step down. Only thing is this was owned by a smoker and it smells like smoke really, really bad. But seeing that I own a detailing business, it would be nothing for me to get this guy cleaned up. Get it smelling good. Man, they've got so much wet shine on these floors sliding all over the place. Man, it gives me a little bit of room, a little bit more room than than uh, I get in our in our day cabs. But it's really not bad. I mean, this is simple, which is all I need. You know, I'm not I'm not OTR. I'm local, so I don't need a lot of bells and whistles and so on and so forth. I just need a work horse. But I don't want to go with a day cab because there's a couple of accounts that we have that would require you to possibly stay out so as an owner operator i don't want to have to pay for my own pay for my own room yeah all of the freightliners they're relatively the same uh package and they're all pretty clean i mean they're in great shape to be 2014 the interior you know I might open the hood up on one of them. Yeah, come on. Yeah, I might open the hood up on one of them. And I got this old snub nose Pete. 2015 388. 388. Got your duels. You know, I like this Peter Bill, but. Again, just like the Kenworth, man, these guys are, you know, space is really tight on these guys. Got your under storage. That's your storage, man. That's your storage, man. My kiddos. Here, babe. Storage. Warring, Jim Warring. 388, guys. Peterbilt. Pretty basic one too. Got all your gauges and switches and everything, so typical Peter built 388. Got already wired for all your electronic logs and everything I don't think I I don't think I seen this in any of the other trucks I don't think I seen that but <clears throat> that's a sleeper back here which is pretty clean this is a nice truck it's actually probably one of the cleaner ones that I've looked at got everything set up can you see me Tell me what you think, guys. Tell me what you think. Freightliner, Volvo, Peterbilt. And they got this this guy here. Peterbilt also. Sleep rooms. 2018, 579. This is going to be out of my price range. So we'll go open the engine on one of these freight liners. 
I just walk so fast, baby. Alright guys, we're we'll, gonna uh, open this engine up, check it out, then I'm probably gonna go find another another shop to check out, see if they got anything. So get you back later. All right, man, we came across the street over here to Select Truck San Antonio. You see it right there. Used trucks. We'll see what they got. They got a lot of uh, fleet trucks over here, which, boy, rolling, huh? Can we ride the trucks? Nah, we can't drive these yet, man. We, have to, we still got to take some time to figure out exactly what we're looking for. Oh man, this thing got an APU on it and everything. A freight liner. This wouldn't be bad. Those other trucks over at Arrow, they uh, had a lot of rust, man. And I opened up the engine. I didn't show you guys that, but I opened up the engine and sheesh. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't a good deal. Hey, how's it going? Yes, All right. You still helping those guys? No, I'm about to give an application and I'm going to see you right now. Okay, no problem. Uh, no problem. All right, Tracy. Tracy, nice to meet you. All right. Hey. Yeah, they've only got one guy working, plus his boss. He's trying to help a couple people. Some of the same guys I just saw over at Arrow made their way over here. So, uh, I don't know. You know, the guy was talking a lot of good talk, but apparently it wasn't, must not, they must not really stand behind it because these guys ended up over here as well, so. Uh, my well, trucks or what? Yeah, Which one do you like? Oh, you like that yellow one all the way back there? In the blue? In that blue one? Yeah, back there, back there, back there. The two. Yeah, yellow one right there. Yeah, yellow one right there. And that blue one right there. You like these blue ones right here too? Oh, uh, man, that's a big truck. You can, can you handle that big old truck? No. You don't think you can handle that big truck? No. Back, man, so I can record it. Got a couple little graphics on it. That's kind of cool, give it a little touch. This thing right here is a lifesaver. Right now I'm gonna get you the keys for this one since I see you kind of like it. But okay. As far as all the information that you need to know, it's gonna be right here, and I'll be right back. All right. D13, 10 speed, 48 inch mid roof, 62,000. Focus for me. Sixty two thousand nine hundred and ninety. Two thousand sixteen Freightliner Cascadia. So you heard the guys gonna go grab the keys. But like I was saying, these these brush guards, these deer guards, man, these things are or lifesavers. Watch out, son. Hey, you're in the camera. Watch out. Oh. Yeah, uh, I hit a deer before one of the company trucks. And we had this guard on there. And man, it really saved the front end of the truck. So, in my opinion, those things are worth their weight in gold. Thank you. 
stuff right there. Daddy, look at the track I ate too. Daddy, the engine. Well, no, this is for the, uh, it's kind of like a generator, Jojo. Daddy. Huh? Where? Oh, you like that rail one over there too? Yeah. You like all the big trucks, man. Uh, what? Uh, Ouch. Daddy doesn't need a real big, big truck. All right, guys, I'm cut this thing back on when the gentleman comes back. He can't drive it. Why? Because he's only four years old. You only four years old? <laughs> oh man, you're awesome, dude. Finally got in touch with. Aldo here, here's his information. Come by and check him out. Converse 870 IH10 East. He's gonna get me taken care of. He got a couple of options for me. So right now, printed out the specs for a 2014 uh, with the DD15 with about 537 on the miles. I think that's gonna be a really good truck for you, man. Um, as far as for what you're trying to do, the sleeper, um, the transmission that you're looking for, it's a 10 speed transmission as well. So I think that's going to work out. Now, as far as the Maverick trucks that we have, uh, let me see what's the lowest price one that we got as far as in the range where we were looking at. Um, you're going to be looking at 37.9. Okay. Right? 37.9 for. Okay, big guy. All right, guys. So, um, what I was telling him is that I want something with a sleeper because I am local, so I don't need nothing real big. But the fact that uh, we got an account that's all the way out in Midland, and then as an owner operator, I'd be responsible for my own uh, room and board, so I prefer to have a sleeper. And uh, he was explaining to me the difference between the APUs and how having an APU could save me a lot in, in fuel costs. So there's some of the different options that he was sharing with me, and that's why you heard him talking about the APUs and the, the, the manual, because uh, the transmission, because I also I would prefer a manual. So he's working hard to get me uh, what I want, so that's awesome. Customer service is top-notch, guys. Like I said, come check him out up here, Freightliner, select trucks. There it is. There's the address, phone number. Give him a call, guys. Oh yeah. So I get back with you when we go check out the trucks, guys. Hey, Tay, I don't know if you ever see my videos, homie, but you one of these old Maverick trucks, and man, y'all keep these things clean, bro. Like for real, man. This is probably one of the nicest trucks that I've been inside today, and I'm really impressed with you know the way you guys keep these trucks clean, man. Freightliner 2015. Says uh, Maverick truck that was traded in. My buddy came out here just one truck that he's showing me. This guy, this thing is super clean, super clean. Plenty of storage. Let's see if I can get this light on back here. Maybe the light don't work. There it is. We got plenty of storage, man. Plenty of storage. Refrigerator. It's already blowing cold. Nice. I think uh what's the price on this guy. I'll have to look at the papers when I get back, but I think it's like 30, you know, 40, 40 something. 40 something for this. Let me know what you guys think. See the miles. 
2000, 2015. And I think the key here is that this was a Maverick owned truck and their maintenance program is like top notch. So you guys let me know what you think about this price, the year. Um, I'll insert the year, uh, no, I'll insert the price so that you guys know. Also guys, uh, let me know, this is my first time buying a truck, let me know about the uh, commercial purchasing, financing, versus just getting a regular financing through your loan for the amount of the vehicle. Alright man, let me know what you guys think. This the one or what? <laughs>